Okay, so another possible issue, um, not the air gap, that's uh, covered by the overlap, but the, the uh, shelf did not fit in between the frames. I had to cut a small piece out. It also sticks out, which tells me, I think they sent me something with the wrong dimensions. I'm okay with it, but I mean, I got all the screws in. I did have to redrill one hole back in that corner because I couldn't get it to line up very well because that screw there went in and then the one in the back didn't go in. I had problems with the sizing of this bay in one of the earlier videos. Uh, like this hole here wouldn't line up. No matter what I did, I could not get those two holes to line up. I could redrill them, and I probably will redrill them just to make sure that there's no water leaking in eventually and put an extra screw in them. But uh, this just boggles my mind. There's no way this bay, because of the way I put it in, would be an inch or an inch and a half too much forward. It just, it, it's impossible. The most maybe a quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch. So I think they sent me the wrong size shelf. Me being the picky, not so picky person, I'm okay with it. It works. I can get my knees under it. Lots of room. Lots of room for a computer. Lots of room for extra storage under there. I'm happy with it. Um, if it develops into some kind of issue, I'm a little worried about scraping a shoulder or something. That's nice and smooth, so it would only bump, but uh, slightly frustrating. I'm not guaranteeing you that there's not something I did wrong with this bay, but um, I don't think so. It, it's, I mean, it's pretty cut and dry how you, how you have to put it. It's not like I got one of the panels upside down. All the frames, that frame's on bottom. That has to be on the bottom because that has this on the top. So for the wheel, so it's not like you can have it upside down or have that part upside down. Um, you know, I, I, you can look at the lip around the rest of it. It's a little strange. I may have something out of whack here, but there's no way the way I installed it offset this shelf that far. It's a physical impossibility. So that's something else you should watch for. Um, I might send a note to to uh, Next Dome saying, you know, hey, with a picture here and say, why is this like this? Why can't I get the, the piece in? But uh, I'm not taking this apart. Because like I said, there's no way anything I did could have shifted that that far forward. It, it, the plastic is just too thin. The only way thing it could be upset or offset by is the width of this plastic right here because it's all that wide so there's no way it would offset it that way if I had like the back piece in front when it's supposed to be behind or something like that so like I said I'm gonna go with it uh, worst case scenario I may take this out and put a tray table or something in here uh, but I think this will work fine um, I'm going to have to put some tape or something around this corner because I don't want cables grinding up against there. shouldn't be a problem because I'm going to hard route them through with some conduit down the side over here, away from there. But I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, if anybody has any recommendations of what I might have done wrong. Now, the funny thing about this was the two screw holes on this side lined up perfect. So the, the, I know I got this in, right? Because these two screw holes lined up perfect and everything was pushed this far ahead. And you couldn't get the shelf in because this corner sticks out and it also sticks out on this side. So it wouldn't even come close when uh, without me cutting that corner out. Um, I don't know. If anybody sees this and has any has the same problem in the past or 
I get a, res a, a response from Nextome saying, you know, hey, is this right and what's going on here? Um, I'll let you guys know. Thanks.